lot, you know. Uh, just uh, I feel like the, my whole years combined has been in this one year as far as myself. But um, the COVID pause was a little bit, you know, just because you know, I, I didn't practice. I just played in the game, so I didn't get cleared to after practice. But um, game's a little faster, but, you know, these practice days will help me out, so I'll get back to it. What has been the reason for your good play of late, about the past four or five games, I think? Uh, I think just confidence. I think just um, – Getting my confidence back, uh, that kind of wavered over the season, you know, up and down, you know, inconsistent. Um, but just putting some games together, realizing I only got like 15 games in regular season in my last college career, um, and, and wanting to win with the guys. So I think just putting some games together, that's all it is. I take it everything is fine with your ankle at this point? Oh, yeah, for sure. And building off that, how comfortable do you feel you are now taking into account everything post-injury and just overall system familiarity? I was I would say it's more mental than anything. Um, I wasn't prepared for that part as far as you know realizing trying to get back um, to your full strength and you know playing on the year before I was hurt the whole year. So um, mental is the most important thing with coming with an injury. Um, I feel like after that you know it comes back to you know just hooping. Um, so I think that that's where I'm at now, just playing with confidence and playing to win with those guys in that locker room. When you talk about that mental part of it, how, how long did it take you to get to where you just you trust it, you go out and play and, and do what you do? Well, that's still that's still occurring right now. You know, it's nothing's perfect. I still don't feel, you know, all the way myself. You know, I'm getting there. I show little bits and pieces, but um, I feel like I'm just waiting on that one game, you know, as far as like all confidence that that just one game that I can get and then on from there it'd be it'd be fine. Above and beyond that you're learning like system and new personnel and the, 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 the whole nine. You said the year's been a lot. It's kind of a broad question, but how have you kind of, you talked about getting your confidence back. What's that process been? What have you had to go through to get there? Um, failure, um, a lot of failure, a lot of, um, you know, realizing, you know, talking to yourself, deep conversations with yourself and yourself, realizing, you know, what, who you do it for. I have a beautiful daughter, you know, down the street. Um, she's my motivation. Um, so that really helps, you know, not getting too down. But, you know, with the whole injury and, you know, come to a new team, yada, yada, it's a lot, you know, just mentally. Um, but it's never ending. So you just got to keep keep trying to win the day. How much of a challenge was it trying to maintain confidence, knowing you were starting to get into a groove, starting to know, uh, carve out a, a better role on the team, and then you get hit with COVID? I, I feel like that's, you know, my life right now, you know, as far as, you know, God gives um, his soldiers, you know, a, a hard life on this on this earth. So I feel like, you know, I'm I'm ready for anything. I feel like stuff just keep coming my way, but I'm going to keep getting back up, keep competing, and keep uh, trying to win and bring wins to the University of Louisville. Mason, how much – with your game, how much is the emotion that you show – how much do you – thrive on that and that's when you're kind of playing your best it was the night the game before the I guess the COVID is you got real emotional towards the end of that game and the Wake Forest game and it seemed like that might have been your best game yeah emotion is my game you know I, I really feed off energy from in the building I feed off my teammates um it just gets me going you know in the game I can't just play quiet or um you know just passive or something like that when I'm playing passive I'm probably at my worst but um, you know, energy is big. You know, where I come from, you, you're always the smallest in the pond. So you got to be the, have the biggest heart um, and, and be loud with your, with your confidence. So that would be a big part of my game for sure. Do you feel like the energy that you bring plays a, a large role in trying to get everyone else on the floor motivated and get going? For, um, in, in a sense, I feel like energy in, in itself, you know, just brings the team together, brings, you know, fans and, and the team on the same accord. Um, with anyone, um, any, anybody playing. So energy is definitely contagious, um, and this team needs it. You know, every team needs it, but I'm going to definitely try to do my part. Coach Mack was saying you really only had one day where you had symptoms. What, what was that day like? It was different. I would say the last time, the last variant of COVID was probably worse um, than this one, but it's that anytime you take a, a break in the middle of a season, you know, not practicing just in a hotel room or something like that, you know, it's going to be different coming back. So. Um, thankfully for these days of practice, and then can't wait to get back to Florida State. Mason, you talked about your daughter and, and kind of your motivation. What, what different than a lot of guys? She's right here, and if if you have a bad game, right. you know, kind <laughs> yeah. of changes things, doesn't it? Oh man, it, it just it just you know, it's so much in young life. That's what I'm realizing. Like it's it's so beautiful. You know, they have a their whole life ahead of them, and 
when I get home or when I get to her, it's just like smiles. Like she don't really care what happened if I scored zero points or <laughs> had zero assists or something like that. She don't really care. She's just, you know, just in the moment, just happy. So um, having that stability, you know, with this season, personally how it's went, um, it's definitely, you know, makes everything worth it. So I'm just going to keep trying to build on that confidence for sure. How old is she? Uh, she's in 10 months. What's her name? Briella Rain. Uh, B R I E L L A. Rain. Rain. R E I G N. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, what is that like? What, what's that like? Just that that balancing act, like um, in terms of of trying to be a dad and trying to be a college student and trying to be a guy who's got a lot of responsibilities to his team. Yeah, well, I'm still learning. You know, I'm not perfect. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like these last two years, you know, ever since the COVID started. Um, it's probably one of the hardest years in my life. So, you know, just just realizing, you know, going day by day, seeing mentors, seeing people in front of me, how they raise their kids and um, how they still play basketball and still keep family first. Um, it's definitely an adjustment, but I'm just going to keep trying to be the best person I can be for her. Amongst everything else, how much of an adjustment has it been just learning the new system here and the way – they coach back likes to do things, his personality, how he coaches and so on. Right. It's it's a lot different, you know, just coming from um, the mid major. Uh, I think high major is a difference in itself, but um, Coach Mack has a great system here. He has a great um, core of values. It's just, it's a lot different when you're on the outside versus when you're inside. I keep saying that, but it really is, you know, and bringing the coaching man system in, you know, NBA system. So, I never really played with this much spacing. I never really played with this techniques, words, vocabulary. Like, I'm still learning on that. A lot of plays. So, uh, it's definitely an adjustment. But I feel like I'm getting, you know, a hang of things. These last few games, like I said, besides COVID, um, I feel like I'm getting my confidence back. So, we're just going to keep rolling. 4 0 in the ACC, big road game to, at Florida State. First of all, how does it feel to still be, you know, one of the couple teams that are still undefeated in the league? And what do you know about Florida State so far? It feels good, man. You know, just winning feels good. You know, no one no one wants to lose, and we experienced that early on, and I feel like it, it kind of uh, – we kind of took grasp of it, and we're going to keep going with this. But uh, winning cures everything. So Florida State is a great team. Um, I played there two years ago when they had a few draft picks. Um, so I, I personally can't wait to get there. Um, but this team, you know, we want to get 5-0. and oh. Uh, the, the league kind of feels like we slept on playing against the bottom teams or whatever, but we're just going to keep winning, keep focusing on ourselves, and I feel like we have enough. Mason, they're, they're the tallest team in the country statistically. They also press more than anybody else. So what kind of challenge do they pose for you guys as guards? Well, anytime you have a 7-4 guy, you know, that's we experienced that with Western Kentucky. He was 7-5. So uh, I feel like we're, we're, we know what that is now. So we're more prepared for it now. So, you know, we can't be passive. We can't shoot a bunch of threes, you know, and not get to the basket, not to get to the foul line, which Coach Mack has emphasized over the last few weeks. Um, we just got to be aggressive, keep playing t team ball, and I feel like we have enough for that. You have a lot of different guys who can handle the ball, um, yourself included. W what kind of uh, press attack do you think that gives you, and, and how comfortable are you guys going to be? You haven't seen a ton of it yet this year. Right. Um, you know, it could be anybody's night. As we've seen that your last night was um, L. Ellis. Uh, he played really good. Jerry's consistent with his defense and stuff like that. So we have a lot of trust in our guards. No one knocks down shots. We have a lot of trust in our guards. So um, having that mentality, bringing that with the team and leading the team, being a, the leaders of the team, um, I don't really think, you know, that would be a problem. 